Welcome to the Grammy School of Wrestling Coaches Corner. This preview is intended to give you a brief review of the holds you learned at camp. This is the return position where we oftentimes find ourselves. John, I want you to talk them through and how to do the proper return. When I go to step around, I must first slide my wrist to his left hip. If I don't slide, Chris is going to be able to block me off. Here, block me off. Don't let me step around. He's going to be able to block me off. But when I slide, I pinch his hips to me, I lower my level, boom, and I step. The key is getting my right knee in front of his right knee. Once I get into this position, I'm going to do three things. I'm going to pop my hips in to lift, I'm going to use my right knee to kick his legs out, and I'm going to rotate my arms. Pop, and rotate, and continue to drive forward. Back up a little further, John. Again, this position is oftentimes occurs during a match. I slip my grip, I pinch, I step and lower my level all at the same time. On step two, I hit my hips in, I use my right knee to kick his legs out, and I rotate my arms so he lands on his face. And I continue to drive forward, and I land in my grind position. Now we're going to go into some holds off the return. The first return, John's going to return when I tell him to. And he's going to do his tight waist tilt, and Chris is going to wrestle, just like it would be in a match. Ready? Wrestle. <coughs> wrestle, Chris. When his hips come up, I sink my tight waist in, shoulder deep. I can almost grab his spine, and then I can cheap tilt. <coughs> Again, here's what it would look like quickly. In a match. Back up, Chris. And block him off, Chris. Block him off. Ready, go. Wrestle, <coughs> Chris. Again, this time John goes to return him, and he can't lift him, but he doubles him off. Chris has hand control. Chris has hand control. He's got a post. John steps around, he gets the angle. Now John is going to be doubling off at the knee with his right hand. And Chris cuts, and John doubles off. Boom. Now right here, notice how John, turn around that angle so they can see what you're doing with your legs. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Notice how John's got his left leg stepped up. He can do two things. He can grab his own leg and slip to the claw. Or he can grab his own leg and slip to the turk. Both are five point holds. Again, he doubles the man off, back up in the middle of the circles. He's gonna lose Chris. Chris is getting ready to hip heist out. Hip heist out, boom. He doubles, he drives. This time John goes right into the turk. Now when this happens, Chris is gonna belly to his stomach. John is gonna have to rotate up towards his head. Ready, go, and score. John, tell them what you do with your hand to stop losing from the turk. Swing it around so they can see it. Once I get the leg turk, most of the time it's gonna be below the knee, which is not good. So I take my left hand and I keep it in between his legs, similar to an arm turk, and I use that to pry. Chris's defense is to get his knee forward and belly out. My left arm turk is gonna pry and block that. Crawl forward, Chris. I use my left hand to pry as I bring my right knee to his stomach and my left knee to his crotch. Then I can limp arm out, lift, Pinch and push, walk to the man's head. Now, this time, we're going to be up on our feet. The more conventional turp would be Chris starts on his, on, on, on his referee's position, on his knees. Get on your knees. John can do a couple ways to turp. He, he can go claw turp. Ready, go. Stand up, claw, and turp. Or John can go ankle post and turp. He can get on the ankle when Chris posts it. Post the ankle. Put the ankle, Chris. John follows right up the butt. And go. So you can also turk from referee's position. One more time a piece. Claw turk. And go. Ankle turk. And go. Granby School of Wrestling returns.